Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you guys how to create this gorgeous eye makeup for prom or for any other special occasions and we're going to be using the Naked palette from Urban Decay. So let's get started! Start off with the eye makeup by applying eye primer all over the top and bottom eye area. This will ensure that the color stays on a lot longer and prevents it from creasing. Taking the lightest color on the Naked palette, I'm applying this on the brow bone to bring more dimension into my eyes. I'm actually not a big fan of using shimmering colors on my brow bone, so taking Naked, we're going to counterbalance the shimmeringness by applying it just a little bit below the shimmer of Virgin. Next, you want to take Sid, which is like by far my favorite color in this palette, and just pat it onto the inner third of your eyes. Use patting motions when applying eyeshadows so that it will pay off a lot more intense. And then taking Half Bake, which is a gorgeous golden color, pat this on the centers of your lids, blending into Sid. Next, taking Toasted, which is a shimmering light brown color, apply this around the outer third of your mobile lid, pat it on, and blend it with the surrounding colors. Taking Hustle in a fluffy shaped brush, apply this around the crease of your eyes in window wiper motion. Be sure to buff it in in circular motion to create a smoky hazy effect. And then you're going to darken it using Dark Horse, applying it more towards the outer V of your eyes, blending it into Hustle. Then you want to take Buck, which is the matte shading color, and apply this on the outer V of your crease. This will blend out the dark colors on the outer edges and make it appear more natural creased. I'm going to take half bake just a little bit more on my fingertips and pat it onto the centers of my lips for a bit more pop of dimension. Drag Hustle onto the lower lash line as well on the outer third, layer over dark horse, and then after that for the inner corners, you want to put on this gorgeous glittering color called Sidecar and applying this around the inner tear ducts blending into the brown on the outer third. You want to also blend this a little bit towards the inner corners. This is optional, but I'm lining my waterline using a white eyeliner pencil to create a more wide-eyed effect. Take your favorite gel or, or cream eyeliner, preferably black, and start lining the top lash line creating a subtle winged effect. You can go for a cat eye shape if you want to. Apply coats of your favorite black mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Make sure it's voluminous and also waterproof for any occasions where you're going to be dancing and sweating. Wipe away any excess product that might have fallen from your eyes from to the face. And then you're going to move on to the face by first priming it for the foundation. Here I'm just using my Sigma foundation brush to apply the primer evenly. And I'm using MAC Mineralize Foundation and you can use any other foundation that you want to as well as long as it has low SPF and also a lasting power. Double up your foundation as concealer by applying different problem areas such as dark circles, blemishes, and redness on your face. By doing so, you make sure that your face is not too over highlighted. Cream blush is the way to go if you want a long-lasting, natural-looking flush on your face. So apply it using some stippling brush and just stipple this onto the high points of your cheeks and whatever less on your brush, apply it on the rest of your face for the all-over glow. And then you want to set your makeup with some powder to lock it in place and make sure it stays on all night long. I'm going to be doing a little bit of contouring to make sure that my facial features appear more dimensional in flash photography. So just use a bronzer that is preferably matte and just apply it to the hollows of your face. And then move on to filling in your brows. I'm using a brow pencil here but using it with it a light hand as you can see so that my brows don't look so angry or too defined. After that you want to pop on some false lashes if you want to and curl your real and fake lashes together to make them blend seamlessly. Line above it with a black liquid liner to hide the uh, fuller residue and just apply the blush color on your lips again. Top it off with some lip gloss for some glam and shine and you're done! 
this look is very very flattering on a lot of people the, the girl suits most skin tones and is perfect for prom or for any other occasion when you want to look more glamorous and more amped up than usual if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video bye